going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Five Some News, baby. Five Some News .com. Today we have 10 modders to talk about, including the last update to Cord Farms. Let's check it out. Starting off with modder news, Oxygen David has announced that both the crossplay and PC versions of Cord Farms will be getting one more update, which is already with Giants for testing. This will be the final update to the map, and we've got the change log. So let's take a look. The crossplay version is 1.1. Bullet Bill's better lighting system through the seasons. Horse Pasture can now be sold at Core Farms. Fix the dark winters. By popular demand, the area outside the fields on the PDA of the map will have the option to purchase, which will require new game save, and they remove the collision on Crash Seasons van. The PC version will be 1.2 and features all the same changes in addition to fixed cows eating areas at home farm. Oxy finished up by saying that there are a lot of great things happening behind the scenes, including a new map that will be revealed next year, which I will keep you posted on once that information is available. The second update to Alma, Missouri is now finished and should be sent off for testing today sometime. The update will not require new game save so that is great news update 1002 is as follows they've added greenhouses with new fruits apple orange lemon and pineapple and a new placeable building juice factory with new products apple juice orange juice lemonade and pineapple juice They've also added a new product in the bakery apple pie and added a new product in the pizzeria pineapple pizza Ugh. They've also added a fermenter silo and fixed the sheep barn fence. The sheep will no longer go outside the fence. Speaking of those new juices, we also get to see the production chain for that, including grape juice and lemonade. And a quick look at apple pie and pineapple pizza. Check out Silabuki on Facebook to get a closer look at these production chains so that way you know exactly how they work before the update's released. 82 Studios got their Volvo VNL mod in game and did the official reveal over the weekend on YouTube. We originally saw this as a teaser a few months ago, but it's it's finally in game to see. This is a truck for all platforms and features customization options that would be expected from an 82 Studio mod. It also looks like it's going to work with X2 attachments and all the other goodies that he's made to work with semi truck. so that is awesome. Next up, Agritono have shared a few more screenshots of their Silverado, saying, I can say that the great progress has already been made, but I haven't finished it 100% yet. So. Here's some screenshots, I guess. I wish I had some more information to share, but info on their projects has been a little bit scarce recently. Hopefully soon I'll have some more stuff to share on the 3500. Creative Mesh have a little teaser for us on their emergency pack, saying our HLF-20 needs immediate support from an off-road capable fire truck for fighting a large bell fire. Now, I'm not only up and up when it comes to off-road fire trucks, so I have no idea what could be back there, but I do think it's important at least to share this teaser as we must be getting closer to the next update, which will hopefully ver be version 1.0 for all platforms, but we don't know that for certain yet. Next, CMT Software, aka Smeddy on ModHub, dropped a few more updates on their New Holland 70 series work in progress. Currently, they've added Interactive Controller IC, a United States version, and Crop Sensor support. This is the return of a mod that they released back in Farm Sim 19, and the one that I used to my Struggle Bus series on the old stream farm back then. This was an epic mod, and I can't wait to see it back in the game. Gamer Designs has a new partnership, Pitch Trailers. They are coming to Farming Simulator 22 as a licensed brand for all platforms, and Gamer Designs is also doing a Pitts merch giveaway for a hat to celebrate. So jump over to his Facebook and check that out. Giveaway winners will be announced this Saturday, November the 4th. And of course, get hyped for a new brand coming to the game. Oh, yeah. Next up, Kalaruga Modding shows off another one of their Camaro trailers, saying that the tipper is similar to their 16TN twin axle, but instead of being two axis, it will be a tandem chassis and floating wheel. One thing that I am interested in is the trailer that it's backed up on. I gotta be honest, I've never seen anything like this before, but I want it. They call it a gondola trailer, but maybe that's just a translation issue as everything keeps popping up with scrap trailers. Anyone know what this is? Hey, drop it down below. 40 Modding have their Abbey 3000 taker in game, but still have some things to complete it, including wearing dirt textures. It has the fully dynamic drawbar, suspension and flexible dynamic mud flaps, and lots more options to come. It will be for all platforms, but I do suspect that they'll probably release it on PC first. We'll have to wait and see though. And lastly today, FDR Logging will be releasing their mod update version 1.3 this Friday, November the 3rd, on their website for PC players. They're gonna be adding new mods like the Legion Hill logging map and the cat 551 they're also adding new sounds and improving gameplay overall if you're on pc and you enjoy logging 
these are the ones to get. And if you're watching this video, this is the segue that you got. Boom roasted? I don't know. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out the entire video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com. Thanks to Yos Modding. Remember, there are no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, it just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure the notification bell's on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. So, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Hey. I'm finally having carpet put down in this room and in the studio. I've been fighting reverb for two years, and I'm tired of it.